everybody, today on The Cutting Edge, we are going to take a major look at a new development in 8-bit cart entertainment called the Super Chip. Now, while we don't want to get too uh, teched out here, the basic idea is that through the use of a special supercomputer chip, 8-bit games look and feel a whole lot like 16-bit games. I know you're excited, so listen up. Just to make sure you're up to speed on all this bit and chip and all that other stuff, let me run down a few points. Most of the games you play these days on systems like Nintendo are 8-bit games. Now, the Genesis runs 16-bit games, and that means you can do just about twice as much programming. This is why the graphics are, well, as a rule, so much cooler on the 16-bit games. But with the invention of the Super Chip, now 8-bit games can look like they're 16-bit games without being 16 bits. Well, you might want to write this down. Check this out. As you can see here, the graphic capability of these games is a major step forward with what you're used to in an 8-bit game. The new Super Chip means knockout graphics with some of the largest NES characters ever to appear on the NES system. And look, no flicker. Pretty cool, gamers, huh? In this first game cartridge, released by Comerica, the popular car toys Micro Machines zoom onto the screen with 32 different track configurations each in nine different environments. Wow, not what you're used to seeing on the normal 8-bit video game cart. In this terrific cart, called the Ultimate Stuntman, you'll check out some of the most radical boss creatures ever to appear on a home screen. We just never knew they could grow monsters this big. And before the Super Chip, they couldn't. Now, while Comerica will have 14 of these souped-up game carts on the market, they're promising that there's more to come. And that means in this new era of SNES, your good old Nintendo Entertainment System has a new lease on life.